Tune magazine. It says the following. Tech crypto founder Andreessen Horowitz was to replace the media. Is that bad news? So it says the following. It says, if you've ever been past and familiar to Silicon Valley or cryptocurrency, you've likely heard of Andreessen Horowitz, one of tech's highest profile venture capital firms. The firm which uh, tech insiders call A16Z, A16Z or A16Z, however you pronounce it, is famous in part because of its investments, Facebook, Coinbase and other names, but also because of its mastery at charming and manipulating the media. So perhaps it's no surprise that A16Z is building an empire, a media empire, sorry. The details are still trickling out, but the short version is that after a decade of cultivating journalists over intimate cocktail affairs, the firm has decided to no longer need them. Instead, A16Z is hiring a large editorial team to cover stories um, about crypto, fintech, and other topics with an upbeat slant. If you want a long story, read the exact uh, certain piece A16 Press Whisperer Margaret that wrote. One reason that A16 won't become a media outlet is because it can. When companies need to rely on the likes of New York Times to get their stories out to the public, those publications, including Fortune, had a virtual monopoly on the information because they controlled the bundles aka the newspapers and magazines through the news websites the news that got distributed the internet blew up that monopoly slowly at first and then rapidly at once platforms like twitter medium and substack came to the scene so they're essentially doing what i think you're going to see most companies end up doing creating their own media arm that they can actually use and utilize to whether it's spread propaganda um clarify their position update their customers on new services and updates and products and bloody blah, blah 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 and just essentially provide a kind of like i said a platform where it can provide upbeat and positive news on i guess an industry and a sector they clearly feel like it's changing the world because it must be frustrating isn't it right <clears throat> i've worked in startups right <clears throat> just as an employee and i can just imagine what it must feel like to be an actual founder of a company you're trying to change the world which you know is a bit corny a little bit lame um a little bit trite to say maybe a little bit hyperbolic but a lot of these founders do come into the um scene genuinely wanting to change the world wanting to be a disruptor wanting to actually revolutionize whatever it is that they're going into and they feel like they're doing good they feel like they're actually providing um the world with a safer way to do a b c d whatever it may be and then to have parts of the media platforms like TechCrunch, the verge um you know gizmodo whatever it may be picking apart every single move you do scrutinizing every every single decision painting you in a bad light not giving you the benefit of the doubt it must be just exhausting to continually try to correct their you know perception of you so why bother if you have the means and you have the contacts and you have the uh, the tools at your disposal to change that narrative and provide yourself and the industry at large that you love or people that you feel are actually moving the needle and changing the world and making it a better place and provide them with a platform that they can actually go to in order to kind of have good press, right? Because there's nothing bad about having good press, especially in the world that we live in where, you know, good news seems to travel a lot faster than good than bad or bad news seems to travel a lot faster than good, sorry it's not really it does seem like a really clever idea to do um especially again when you consider that mark and jason has been somebody has been super vocal about his disdain for the mainstream media so much so on twitter he kind of doesn't really play no games the moment you say anything that could be could be kind of um construed as like negative criticism against him you'll immediately block you especially if you're a journalist he doesn't ramp um which is essentially led to the whole taylor lorenz debacle where she tried to get him and his fellow guests cancelled because they said retard in a room when they were describing the wall street bets lingo and how they kind of get down on that subreddit absolutely stupid woman but hey what can you do but i love it man i actually love the idea and I, again I, I can definitely see a lot more companies deciding to um add a media arm to their corporations um again it provides a safe outlet for you to kind of say what you want to say your people are already doing it now on social media platforms as it is again substack medium twitter all these places are blowing up with companies you know most startups i worked for had a medium most startups i think going forward will have a substack um probably most even departments right? i can imagine the promotion pr marketing teams product development having little substack that they can kind of get um their more kind of uh Ad, ad ardent cheerleaders to kind of subscribe to there's loads of avenues that people can really able to explore but i'm definitely keen to see how that develops um, again a160 are big players in the startup industry and startup community in general and when they make a move more likely than not Aaron else is going to make a move too um let's read maybe a couple more here it says here let's be this last one and then carry on da, 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 da. Uh, yeah it says here um 
the 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 other big reason a160 has turned its back on traditional media is because a firm like many other in tech world regards oppressed as ignorant and unfair instead of hailing the ways in which tech is changing our lives these critics say journalists fixate on negative stories pushing hit pieces and takedowns that serve their own agenda what's more a160 and others would add reporters are prone to publishing pieces even if they don't know that they're talking about exactly it's better than to leave it to those like the partners at a160 to, to and their scribes who do so what should we make of this i'm surprised Surprisingly, many reporters are recoiling at what E160 is doing, claiming that its media ambitions are simply propaganda, not real journalism. Part of this is sour grapes. Journalists are prone to self-importance and in criticizing the push by E160 and others to cut them off, they may simply be lamenting a loss of power and prestige. And while it's easy to knock e 160s motives, um, it's hard to bash the stuff that we that they are publishing. I've been uh, reading the company's fintech newsletters and have conceded they're excellent, sophisticated, well-informed and crisply written if this is the case perhaps our impulse should be to praise rather than criticize the company after all the information they're publishing is free useful and better than a lot of the clip bake trick and passes from much of the real quote-unquote journalism these days and yet as much as they appreciate the high color of content i shudder at the prospect of a world where a163 um a160 carries more media clout than the times on your street journal uh, as there is the case with so much more else in silicon valley um, this newcastle media barons appears to have want the money and the glory but not the responsibility that comes with distributing increasingly dominates entire industries. The founders of the E16 year report is sick of growing chorus of anti-tech voices in mainstream media and that's understandable silicon valley despite its flaws still carries still creates sorry, the technology that offers the best hope to elevate global problems such as disease poll pollution and poverty but the tech industry has exasperated a host of other problems from disinformation to inequality and simply adopting a pro-tech vision feels irresponsible so yeah more there you can read again i'll put in the link so you can check it out oh two more paragraphs let's just finish this um it says, yeah, um then there is a truth to, um then there is a truth to power thing a phrase an age of six inside that recently used to suggest to me that the idols of journalism are quaint or naive and i agree in the last century traditional media institutions have been fearless in standing up to powerless uh powerful sorry businesses and presidents fighting in court for free speech while individual journalists have gone to jail to protect their sources such activities are essential to the functioning of a free democracy and for now it appears a16c is not interested in taking part in them in this sense a16c's media ambitions remind me of the cryptocurrency industry a field the firm is also trying to dominate many bitcoin believers will tell you the currency and industry around it are about freedom and escaping the power of the government and the big banks and while there is something to that um few in the crypto industry have much to say about how they help millions of americans struggling with hunger unemployment and lack of health care i worry that if pressed their response would be it's not my problem again i don't i, I don't think it's this culture of jeff jeff john roberts of fortune i don't think it's that deep i really do think it's just more so the case of them being fed up of all the anti tech anti-startup anti-silicon valley um you know uh think pieces and hit pieces that exist out there um they're being sort of lauded as you know the second coming of flipping stalin when they put out products or they say uh, an opinion about the economy or whatever it may be and they just want to provide themselves with a platform and a space that they can freely speak about and kind of uplift the other voices in the industry and again if it turns into more than that then it is but from what i can see it just sounds like a place for them to kind of pat themselves in the back which again isn't a bad thing when you consider that the that i think their benefits definitely far outweigh their negatives but again what do i know